Tonight, a local butcher is off the hook for potentially paying off a quarter million dollar lawsuit. At the same time, a local eye doctor is backtracking in federal court. It's a story you first heard here on News Channel 13. And tonight, Dan Levy is here with a follow up report. Dan, good evening. Good evening, Mark and Sabrina. At a time when an ophthalmologist was apparently trying to make a political point, a bewildered butcher seems to have had a legitimate beef with what the doctor ordered. When Dr. David Quiat walked into Primal, your local butcher in Milton, one week before last Christmas, he refused to wear a mask and was refused service. Here's what the outraged ophthalmologist told me last week. Forcing someone to wear a mask is not only illegal, it's scientifically ignorant. Claiming mental distress, the doctor filed a federal lawsuit alleging criminal acts and civil rights violations by the butcher. He requested $250,000 in damages. Fast forward to today, state mask mandates have been lifted, and Dr. Quiat has informed the butcher he's dropping the lawsuit. Hopefully, it's a sign that um, common sense may have prevailed here. Tim Howland says he feels as if a heavy weight has been lifted from his shoulders. But until we see an official retraction, uh, we have to assume that, you know, it's still an active lawsuit. In other words, he's not certain an email from the plaintiff officially ends the lawsuit. Why do you think he changed his mind? Uh, you would have to ask the good doctor on that one. I tried to get answers well, from the doctor last week. He I cut off the interview that. just after a few questions. We've never really understood why we seem to be the, uh, the target of the cause here. Um, I mean, there's plenty of other businesses uh, in the state of New York that also were acting in the uh, state's mandate for masks. Howland believes Quiot just wanted to raise awareness over the mask mandate he disagrees with. He's also grateful for what he calls overwhelming support from the community, understanding the widespread reaction. It's a local story that I think was shocking to hear, um, and uh, I'm glad it's over. I reached out to Dr. Quiot today, seeking comment. Haven't heard back from him. Sabrina and Mark. Dan, thank you.